people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. I'm, and I expect all of you guys to get involved with conservative media. Do you have faith in Janet Napolitano to keep you safe behind? Oh! Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, JDV, John D. Villarreal, and PFV's on the phone right there. Now, Paul just hit me with some serious news. I want him to break it right here, and I'm going to react to it. Paul, you hit me with this thing. We got big news in this California Senate race. What happened today? Yeah, John, Palin, former governor of Alaska, and conservative superstar has come in and endorsed the candidate Carly Fiorina. I love it. This is an explosive blow, a crushing blow to the supporters of Chuck DeVore out there. You know, you've been following the tweet, the Twitter action out there and stuff, and, 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 and you're telling me about this guy, Josh Trevino, that apparently is the campaign spokesman for um, uh, Chuck DeVore, and he's just been, uh, he's, he's been pretty busy all day, huh? What's, what's, what's going on with this guy? Well, it seems that since Palin has put in the endorsement for the arena, Josh Trevino and, and other Chuck DeVore fans have been, you know, taking shots at Palin and, and just kind of sideswiping her. I'm not sure that's the best strategy in the world, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, well, we've commented on his uh, strategy or, or lack of, uh, in my opinion, any coherent real strategy uh, before. And apparently you were telling me that, that they were still pushing this demon sheep, like, recently. Like, I mean, are you... That's just so brutal. Are you kidding me? I mean, here's the thing. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I like Chuck. A lot. I like Tom. I like Carly. I like them all. I don't dislike anybody in this Senate race. But you have to be an honest analyst. And in analyzing this race... And it's on record. We don't have to go over it now. I've said it on the on 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 our air. I've said it on other people's air many many times. Exactly what Carly needed to do to win this race, she's doing it. I've given her advice. Many, you know, I've given her advice, you know, uh, to her face and to her team, and said the whole and laid the whole thing out. It's worked. Simple as that. We're winning this thing, okay? Now, as it could, so put all that aside. Here's what you need to think about as a voter. You're in California. Oh, I like Chuck. He's a real conservative. Well, look, it's like this. Chuck can't win. With what Palin did today, for sure, that's it's over. Any fantasies, you know, or kind of crazy ideas out there that somehow Carly and Tom were going to split the vote and Chuck was going to come up the middle, like, that's just, that's gone right now. That's so, now you have to think about who do you want? Who's better? If you have Carly or Tom to pick, and you're a conservative, really, really who's better? Look, Tom's been a lifelong, pretty much, in my opinion, Rockefeller type Republican. He's a moderate Republican. Really nice guy, really smart guy. I worked with him before in an academic sense, this and that, whatever, Federal Society. I, I like Tom a lot, man. I don't dislike anybody here. I'm just saying, who would you rather have as, as a conservative? That's number one. Number two, who can beat Boxer? Who has the best chance to beat Boxer? I've said it from the beginning, it's always been Carly. I definitely will redouble that. You've seen our, our stuff that we have with Carly at the Tea Party and how she really gave it to that ABC reporter and gave us the exclusive interview. This isn't just like who I like, because they've all talked to me. They all will talk to us. I can get time with any one of them. That's not, even, that's not what this is about. What this is about is what I've seen from Carly as someone who's really smart, who's reacted well, who, you know, I guess if, if there's any bias issues, she's taken our advice, in which has been spot on. And more importantly, someone that really gets what this campaign and this election cycle is about and wants to, you know, represent the people out there and I think can win. She's a fighter and she's a winner. That's what we need, okay? We need someone that can be boxer. You know, I'm not into losing honorably. I'm not into being a you know, purist that's just going to go down with the ship and let Boxer win again. We cannot afford six more years of Boxer. So, you know, if you're rational and you have some intelligence, even if you were supporting Chuck before, you're going to look at this race, look at the next round of polls, 
where Chuck's never broken out of, you know, other than the weird outlier poll here or there, really single digits. It's over. It's done for divorce. So now where are you going to go? I think you should go with Carly. That's what I think. That's, you know, my opinion. We're not making an official endorsement yet or anything like that, but, you know, and Sarah Palin thinks exactly the same thing. Sarah Palin came out and basically said the same thing. I mean, Paul, you read the statement. I mean, isn't Sarah basically saying that Carly is the one that can win? Yeah. Palin said pretty much straight out that uh, the arena can win. She's the only person of the Republicans that can defeat Boxer. So, yeah, she's definitely taking that into consideration and echoing what you just said. And that's it. That's what it's all about. I mean, we're here to win. It, you know, we you you got to win, okay? You know, you got to win. This losing honorably or protest vote or this is... All that stuff is freaking garbage, dude. That's just garbage, you know? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's like, you know, if you're... Let me, let me put it this way. You're in the desert and it's 130 degrees and you're dying of heat exhaustion... And someone says, oh, hey, I can give you a cool tent over there with a big, tall glass of lemonade. Are you going to say, no, I don't want that because I want to be at the freaking Ritz-Carlton in, you know, in perfect air conditioning and it's not that, so I'm just going to stay with this? No, not if you're smart. So, and I'm not trying to denigrate Carly at all. I think Carly's, you know, fantastic. I'm just saying that any one of these Republicans is way better than Barbara Boxer. Carly has the best shot. Chuck has next to no shot now. Next to none. And, you know, he's a great guy. And hopefully we'll work with him in the future, this and that, whatever. If he decides to run again, whatever. So, anyway, that's the story. That's the news right now. You know, Sarah Palin endorses Carly Fiorina. There's a huge win for Carly Fiorina. And it's a big blow for the other campaigns. And I think that this puts Carly in a very good position to win this primary. So... Reporting for Conservative Media, I am John, and that is Paul. We are Conservative New Media, and you're the Conservative New Media Army. Subscribe to us above. Comment on us below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree with us? Disagree with us? Are you happy about this? Not happy about this? What do you think about Sarah Palin? And we will see you next time.